What if there is a way to make AI detectors fail to detect AI generated content? Well today we're going to be learning about just that, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. What's up everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Veraxity, and in today's video we're going to be talking about bypassing AI detectors. Have you ever been faced with a problem that something you made would be detected as AI generated content? Well fear no more, because we're going to be talking about how to stop that. Now I do have to say that this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. You know this video is not so you can get your 400 32 page essay done that was supposed to be due last week. It's not so you could generate a 400 page essay in 30 seconds, you know, and no, I'm not telling you to do that in this video. This video is more going to be focusing on how AI detectors work and how they could be actually bypassed. So you know what AI detectors look for whenever they're checking your content to see if it's AI generated, and also how to trick them a little bit, just a little bit, just to trick, just a tiny little trick. But with that out of the way, I just wanted to say make sure you're following me on all my social medias for more hacking content, and if you go follow right now, I will award you with one cookie. I also want to give a big fat thanks to Hicks.ai for making this video possible using their one-of-a-kind AI bypassing and humanizing tool. And if you like some of the more serious, really deep level anonymous hacker content, make sure you go check out my website, Veraxity.org, which has a lot of cool computer tricks on it. But with that all being said, guys, you know, grab your computer, grab your mouse and your keyboard, uh, grab that 500 page essay that you have due three weeks ago, and let's get right into it. So before I actually get into using the Hicks bypassing tool and showing you guys how it could bypass some AI detectors, we're going to talk a little bit about how AI detectors actually work, you know, what exactly they look for, and what sort of sets off the flags that, you know, maybe this piece of content is AI generated. So AI detectors actually only look for two things in a text, right? And that's perplexity and burstiness. Now the lower that these two variables are, that actually makes it more likely that the text is AI generated. So if you don't know what perplexity is, it's a measure of how unpredictable a certain piece of text is. AI language models usually aim to produce text with low perplexity, while human writing tends to have a higher perplexity, with, you know, like, more creative uh, word choices, all that sort of stuff. So that means if your text has low perplexity, that means it's likely AI generated. And if you don't know what burstiness is, burstiness is basically a measure of variation in sentence structure. So if all the sentences are basically, you know, sort of sounding the same, or they look the same, then chances are your text is definitely AI generated. So basically all it's looking for is low burstiness and low perplexity. And now the tool we're going to be talking about today, Hicks Bypass, basically shakes up this perplexity and it shakes up the burstiness and a couple of other things about the text that you put into it. And now what this does is it's going to completely bypass the detection that it was ever written by an AI and it's going to make it human. So now that we know what AI detectors look for, we could finally get on to bypassing AI detectors. And without further ado, I will see you on my desktop for the tutorial. So as you can see, now we're on our desktop, and the first thing we're going to want to do is put on our super scary hacker mask and hacker gloves, right? And now that you have that on, we're going to once again load up Tor Browser down here. As you can see, this is obviously Tor Browser. And you'll notice that we have a couple tabs at the top up here. And what we have up here is we have a few AI detectors that we're going to be scanning our little story with, right? We're going to write a story using AI. And now what's our story going to be about? Our story is going to be about, write me a story about the man who shat himself to death <laughs> yeah let's see this all right so we got once there was a man named harold who had a peculiar problem he suffered from severe anxiety which often led to bouts of intense fear and unfortunately a lack of control over his bowels <laughs> all right now that we have our story about a man shitting himself to death we're gonna copy that right now and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if it shows up on any AI detectors that it has been written by AI, right? You know, we wanna get that A, right? We wanna make sure that nobody can tell that it wasn't us who wrote this essay. So we're just gonna paste it right here and we're going to hit scan now. Now this is originality.ai, it is a well-known AI detector and we're gonna see what all it can detect from this AI written story. But all right, dude, it looks like we're getting the F on this project today, 100% AI detection, they're onto us, man. It basically detected that the whole thing has has been written by AI, but you know, some other detectors might not. So let's try GPT-0, another well-known AI detection platform. So we're just gonna paste our story right here, and then we're just gonna hit run scan. And as you can see, the scan has finished and it is 100% probably AI generated. So whatever these detectors are doing, man, uh, they're working. So now we're gonna go over to copy leaks, and we're gonna do the same thing on this AI detector, 
and also content at scale. We're going to paste that in there. And then Winston.ai. We're also going to check it on this one. So let's run these three scans and let's see what it comes back with. And all right, now that the scans have come back, let's see it. Winston.ai, look at that. No humans wrote this body, dude. There's a warning sign for plagiarism. Uh-oh, I might have stole this story, actually. But if we check content at scale, it looks like it says it was hard to tell. And over at Copy Leaks, we got... AI content is at 100% and human text is at 0%. So now you're probably like, Veraxity, we clicked on this to see how to bypass this problem. This is the issue we're having, right? And uh, for that, I bring you Hicks.ai. So if you go to bypass.hicks.ai up here, it has what's called an AI humanizer. And what it does is if we paste our uh, story about a man shitting himself to death, you know, a little Harold over here, if you paste that into here, you can actually select from a few different modes, right? In different ways. So like, as you can see right here, we got fast, balanced, aggressive, and latest for the latest AI models. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to make it so that it looks like a human wrote it, and we won't have this 100% AI thing right here, right? So let's go ahead and we'll just try that out right now. So first, we could actually check for AI, and it's going across all the uh, websites that we just did. And as you can see, our input seems to be AI generated, dude. But if we choose a mode here and we choose, I don't know, we'll do aggressive, right? We'll just do aggressive. And we just press humanize right here. It's going to jumble this uh, story up, even though it's still basically going to be the same story, just work differently, right? So as you can see, it has jumbled the story up, changed the grammar, and basically the whole way it was written. And so let's just copy it and let's see how well it did. So let's just start a new scan over here on originality, paste our new and improved not AI story, and hit scan now. And whoa, would you look at that? As you can see, 100% of this, it thinks a human wrote 100% of this, man. Now let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's test this out on all these other different AI detector platforms. So let's start with GPT-0. Let's start a new scan, and we'll just paste it right here once again. And now let's hit run scan. And now that we got the scan results, as you can see, it thinks a human wrote this too. Looks like we're getting an A today on our project, boys. So let's try these last three AI detectors and see what they say. We'll scan it over here, we will scan it, we'll scan it on content at scale, and then we'll scan it on Winston AI. And now over on Copy Leaks AI Detector, you can see that it detects 64% of it as AI content. You know, it's getting through a little bit there, but we'll come back and fix this later. You know, we, we can't stop here, boys. We've come too far. Now, as you can see, content at scale completely thinks a human wrote this. Our story about Harold completely passes at content at scale. And now for Winston AI, it actually looks like that it detects 0% that a human wrote this, so it thinks the whole thing was generated by AI. So once again, we're going to fix this, right? And we're going to do that by going back to the Hicks bypass and we're going to select a different mode. Let's try the latest version, right? So we're just going to humanize it with the latest algorithm that they have. And then we're going to retry on these two different AI detectors. So as you can see, it's now been humanized with their latest algorithm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste this over here. Let's start a new scan, paste in our new one, and then hit scan. And we're going to do the same for Winston AI. Let's scan it one more time on there and see what our results are. So back on copy leaks, our scan has completed and it looks like it detects 100% that a human wrote this. So the latest algorithm has bypassed copy leaks AI detector. And now if we go over to Winston, oh, look at that. It thinks a human completely wrote this too. As you can see, the whole thing says unlikely AI generated basically. And yeah, it looks like we're getting an A on the project, right? Our 500 page essay that we had due 300,000 years ago can now be done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that about sums up today's video, guys. Once again, I want to give a big fat thanks to Hicks.ai for making this video possible. Huge shout out to them. And uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed for more content just like this. Make sure you smash the heck out of that like button if you liked it. Um, if you if you didn't like the video, uh, well, guess what? The dislike button doesn't work anyway, so you're shit out of luck, dude. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, yeah, make sure you're following me on all my social medias, guys. Remember, you will be awarded with one cookie, and you'll have to accept that cookie if you follow me. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Veraxity, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.